The number of pupils top grades in the GCSE hits all-time high. V Lunchtime News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good afternoon. For a long stretch of their young lives, their future and plans have been so very uncertain. But today, GCC students in England, Wales and Northern Ireland received their results and finally have some clarity on their futures. Well, many teenagers are celebrating with almost a third of the grades awarded being the highest mark possible. But Labour say this year's results also exposes a growing divide between state and and private schools. Here's our political reporter Shihab Khan on the bumper grades. So Shihab, lots of uh, pupils celebrating there, but what today's GCC results point to as well is this growing inequality gap. Yeah, absolutely. Next, the country's most senior police officer has warned no one is above the law, as she revealed detectives will review allegations against the Duke of York. Metropolitan Police Commissioner Cresta Dick revealed she'd asked her team to have another look at the material. I'm joined by our correspondent, Geraint Vincent. Um, Geraint, talk us through what was said in relation to this inquiry. Well, the police chief was questioned on LBC rate. photograph was taken. And Cressida Dick also made clear that there is no... The NHS in England has recorded the highest ever number of people waiting for hospital treatment. Almost five and a half million people needed routine treatment, which is the highest since records began in 2007. Well, the health service says it's trying its best to deal with the growing backlog, but there are warnings the total waiting list could hit 14 million next year. With the story, here's Rebecca Barry. The number of people told to self-isolate by the NHS COVID app continues to fall. Nearly 320,000 alerts were sent last week, which is 20% down on the week before. But things could look very different from next week as isolation rules are relaxed in England. Let's take a look at the changes coming into force uh, from next month. In today's other stories, extreme weather continues to have a devastating impact around the world. Now, the UK's economy is recovering after the impact of the pandemic and lockdowns. That's according to new figures released by the Office for National Statistics. But and the furlough scheme is due to come to an end in September, something the Chancellor claims will not leave workers in the lurch. Now, how about this? When Olympic sprinter Hansel Parchment caught the wrong bus to his race in Tokyo, he thought his Olympic dream was over. And finally, it's been a summer of success for the Gadarova twins. Not only have they just arrived back from Tokyo with bronze medals, but today they also received distinctions in their GCSEs. Well, gymnasts Jessica and Jennifer picked up their results, along with their classmates at Aylesbury Vale Academy in Buckinghamshire. Sangeeta Candola has their story. Well done to them. And a reminder of our main story this lunchtime, Tina. And that's it. Charlene's back at 6.30. But from all the team here, bye-bye. Hello again. Now the main stories in London. A woman who died in a crash between two buses has been named... A 14-year-old boy has been arrested on suspicion of murdering a man in Chingford. For As you've been hearing, GCC results are in. London teenagers got the... Well, that'd be grade nine, that's the highest. A group of veteran British Gurkha soldiers are staging a hunger strike and protest on Whitehall. The group are... Football, Chelsea have picked up their first piece of silverware for the season, beating Villarreal in the UEFA Super Cup. The blue... Next, if you think you're seeing double, look again. Grimer. Time to take a look at what's coming up at six. All right, time for the weather. Here's Philippa. And that is it for now. Duncan is back here at six. Until then, enjoy your afternoon. Bye-bye.